So the United States is in a very difficult situation, and it's mainly because we continue to have threats against us here on U.S. soil and abroad. However, that is not where things are turning. The United States has always had threats against them. However, at this point, we are now getting reports that certain groups are expected to target worldwide. We're going to see worldwide terror attacks. Now, that is troubling news, but I want to break down where this is coming from, why these attacks are being considered as a more likely scenario now in 2024 than back in 2023. So make sure you stick around for this entire video. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends, your family, and your loved ones over on Facebook so they too know what is going on. Now, all I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So if you have been following me here on this channel for some time, you know I have been warning you of the potential attacks that are coming. These are statements coming from the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and other uh, governments around the world. Now, this is one of the reports I showed you just the other day. This one right here, this is from Fox News. It says U.S. intelligence officials warn Hezbollah may target mainland U.S. amid the war in Israel. It says Hezbollah has ramped up its rhetoric following attacks in Beirut, Lebanon. Now, this was all coming from an attack that was placed on Lebanon. And it took one of their one of the uh, leaders of Hamas. Well, because uh, Hamas is backed by Iran, uh, Hezbollah is backed by Iran, and so are the Yemen Houthis, all backed by Iran. These are all Iranian-backed proxies. Well, the problem is that now there's more pressure on these groups to perform and do the attacks that they were set out to do. This is one of the reasons why the Yemen Houthis have continued to attack ships going up and down the Red Sea. This is why they endured a brutal attack from the United States and uh, from the United Kingdom uh, just the other day. Um, and what we know moving forward, though, is this. This came out just today. I want to show you this because, again, I think this is troubling news. But at the same time, we need to understand what is happening. Look at this right here. It says Hamas working to orchestrate terror attacks worldwide according to the IDF. This is the Israeli Defense Force. Uh, it says the IDF officials have compiled intelligence on international terrorist operations with the assistance of European leaders. This was just published today on January 13th. Now, why do I wanna address this? Well, first off, anytime we are hearing something about worldwide terrorist attacks, that is something that I think the entire world should know about which is why I told you, if you, you know, care about your friends, your family, and your loved ones, make sure you share this video with them on Facebook so they know exactly what is going on. But I want to read you this. Look at this. Let's read it together. It says, The Israeli Defense Forces released a statement Saturday claiming that Hamas leaders are helping to orchestrate terror attacks worldwide as part of a larger campaign against Western powers. One thing you need to keep in mind is that the United States and, and some of our allies have wanted to uh, keep this war between Israel and Hamas very small, keep it confined to that area, keep it confined to uh, pretty much the West Bank, right? Here's the problem. It's already spread. It is already spread. It's going all over uh, you know, the Middle East, and this is part of the issue. Now, Hamas is the group that originally attacked Israel. Israel is now responding to that attack, which happened back on October 7th. They're responding to that, and they're trying to pretty much get rid of Hamas. Get them out. They're going to take out their leaders. They're going to take out their, their militants, everybody. They want to get rid of Hamas. Well, that's not something that Iran wants, and that is why experts believe that Hamas is working to orchestrate this terrorist attack because that would then give them more power. Now, let's keep reading this article. It says the IDF published the reports alongside a uh, diagram outlining Hamas's commanders 
uh, linked to suspected terrorist operations in the European Union. It says orders from the organization's management, the purchase of drones, and the use of crime elements. This is how senior members of the terrorist organization Hamas promoted attacks against innocent people around the world. One thing that I can tell you is that when we are starting to see these more and more reports of attacks, threats, possible injuries, uh, just possible uh, invasions, we are now starting to take this more serious. One of the reasons why is because of what happened with Russia and Ukraine. There were reports, there was writing on the wall that Russia was going to uh, invade Ukraine. We didn't know when, but when we heard from Russian officials, they said they weren't going to attack. This is just a, a military uh, training operation. That was it. So now we are focusing in on different aspects of what's going on. That is why we're starting to see more and more potential threats, which is also one of the reasons why the United States wants to keep our troops in the Middle East just in case we need to start sending troops to certain countries. We have some already there that we could just pick up, restation them and put them somewhere else. So that's what we're hearing. Now I want to keep reading this article. This is a statement right here. It says, thanks to combined inner organizational forces in Israel and abroad, a comprehensive and in-depth picture of Hamas's terrorist activities has been revealed. It says down here, gathered intelligence includes details of areas of action, targets for attacks and those involved in implementing the activity from Hamas commanders in Lebanon to the last attackers in the oper operational infrastructure, as well as information on the intention to attack the Israeli embassy in Sweden and the acquisition of UAVs and the use of elements from crime organizations in Europe. Okay, that's what we are hearing. Now, here's where we go from here. We've already been warned, you know, We've seen the warnings from the FBI and Homeland Security and other uh, other governments around the world. We've seen those warnings. I bring those warnings and I you know, uh, pass them on to you. What you need to understand is this is, uh, this is potentially going to happen inside the United States. We are likely to see attacks on you know, other countries first, okay, some of our allies. But then if we do not get the picture, we don't uh, back off. This war between Israel and Hamas continues, and the United States is still a threat in the Red Sea. The expectation is that we are going to see some type of terrorist attack here inside the United States. Now, it would likely be, it's not going to be a large group, according to reports and many experts. They say there's not a there's not thousands and thousands of people from Hezbollah here in the United States that are all going to attack us at once. That's not going to happen. Could it? Possibly. Is it going to happen? They say the chances are very unlikely because they don't have those kind of numbers. What they're going to see is they're going to see a lone attacker, one person. They're going to, you know, as far as how the attack is conducted, that we're not going to get into those details, but just understand it would be one person and it would likely target a large gathering or large event. This is why, according to many uh, experts and according to new surveys, they are saying that the 2024 election and the campaign leading up to it are likely going to be some of the most guarded events that we have in 2024, simply because of the political ramifications of that person potentially getting in the House, the Senate, or the presidency. So that's where we're at at this time. Again, just wanted to provide you with this quick little warning because we are now starting to see more and more reports of potential threats against us here in the US. And that is a massive, massive issue. So that's where we're at at this time. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.